Okay, you. with that we shift hmm. focus to the commodity markets. Manisha Gupta is patiently waiting by. Manisha, what's on your mind? Crude oil prices, Lata, because we have seen constant gains into that one and this is the third straight week that we have seen gains continue in case of the crude oil prices. We are trading at a two-month highs and $64 per barrel is back in case of the Brent crude prices on your screens. The quarter percent decline as we've been talking is because the U.S. weekly inventory data is today in the evening and the markets are readying themselves for 3.6 million barrels of an increase on a weekly basis and that's what's pulled the prices down. But then there is concrete uh, conversation progress now that we've seen between U.S. and China. That that has been keeping the prices higher. It also has to do with the OPEC meeting in Vienna on 5th and 6th. There will be a joint secretarial meeting first on 4th and then 5th is an OPEC meeting and 6th December is the OPEC and allies meeting. So that is where they will decide on their strategy for 2020 in sense of agreement on output. The markets also are looking at heavy imports from China and Korea that we've seen in the last couple of months. That has been the, that has seen the crude prices supported as well. And then it also has been about the US output where we have seen the rig count continue to decline. The shale output is expected to plateau going forward in 2020. That has been supportive. The Saudi Aramco IPO has been keeping the markets excited as well and uh, that's another reason that the crude prices have been holding above $60 per barrel for most part of the month of November. There also are growing protests in West Asia and that has been adding premium to the crude prices also. And then apart from that, it also has to do with the hedge funds buying, which has been making only long positions for the past five weeks as well. Uh, the most important other thing to watch out is for the IMO 2020. That is a new shipping rule that kicks in from 1st of January 2020. And that would mean that a lot of sulfur crude would go out. The refining demands will go up. And that is one thing that these markets will quite keenly watch out for. Buying strategies is what we have in case of the energy prices today. India Nivesh advises you to buy in crude oil prices for 4,180 is the target onto that one. There also is a buy target for silver prices. 44,700 is the target onto that one for the day. All right, uh, Manisha, thanks a lot for that. Well, the dip in the oil marketing companies because of the surge in crude prices has been used as a buying opportunity. So look at stocks like BPCL, HPCL, all off from their lows. That's the place to be in for traders this morning. But let's take a quick break.